Welcome back to another episode of the Educational AD Podcast brought to you by Violet Defense. Violet Defense is dedicated to protecting our world from germs by bringing the power of UV disinfection to everyday spaces. Their patented technology enables them to harness the power of the sun to incorporate ultraviolet light into products and environments like never before. Whether you're ready to implement existing products, or if you'd like to explore researching and developing a custom deployment of their technology for your school, Violet Defense has the solutions and experience you need. Thanks again to Violet Defense for sponsoring the Educational AD Podcast and visit them at www.violetdefense.com. We also want to thank Sideline Interactive. It's becoming harder and harder to fund an athletic department. But Sideline Interactive's indoor scoring tables and video boards can generate $10,000 or more every year while creating excitement in the gym and the ultimate game day experience for your athletes. We've got a Sideline Interactive score table in our gym, and it is fantastic. Go to sidelineinteractive.com or call 832-786-0302 to schedule a live web demo and see their tables and boards in action and see what these fantastic products can do for you. You can also email them at sales at sidelineinteractive.com. That's sales at sidelineinteractive.com. We also wanna thank you, say thank you to Wall of Fame by Vital Signs. Uh, The FIAAA has a Wall of Fame video board to display our uh, organization's Hall of Fame, and it is really, really cool. Wall of Fame by Vital Signs has a mission to bring your school's legacy to life. We provide a variety of interactive touch screen options and an extensive library of templates to make it easier than ever to recognize the athletic achievements of your athletes, both past and present. For ideas on how to showcase your school's diverse history and your proudest moments, visit www.vitalsignswalloffame.com or, or learn more and get started on your own digital Wall of Fame tribute, call them at 614-981-3589 or email them at sales at vitalsignswalloffame.com. That's sales at vitalsignswalloffame.com. We'll <clears throat> We also want to thank Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack for sponsoring the Athletic Director Toolbox segment of our podcast. Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack are a quick, easy, and affordable way to collect comprehensive data that allows you to evaluate and improve your athletic program. Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack also allows the 95% of the players and parents who really love your program a voice and help demonstrate the importance that a positive athletic experience has for them. Go to athleticsurveys.com and check out their testimonials and then call them at 1-800-738-6466. Go to athleticsurveys.com and select info to get yourself started. Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. Let them help you take your athletic program from good to great. We also want to thank our good friends, Varsity Brands, including BSN, Varsity Spirit, and Herc Jones, along with Hometown Ticketing, simple and easy online ticketing for their support of the Educational AD Podcast. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Educational AD Podcast. Uh, We're going to Pennsylvania today and visit with Casey Thurston. Casey is a certified athletic administrator. And she's the athletic director at Gettysburg High School in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Casey, welcome to the podcast. Hi, thanks for having me. Well, we're excited to uh, hear what's going on in your part of the country. Uh, So let's go ahead and get started. We always like to let our listeners have a chance to get to know our guests. So tell us a little bit about yourself, where you grew up, where you went to school and college, and uh, how your path has brought you to your current position at Gettysburg. Right. Well, um, so I grew up uh, just over the mountain here from Gettysburg in Shippensburg, Pennsylvania. Um, Played pretty much every sport there was when I was growing up in school. So it was always uh, in my house. My dad coached um, 
youth sports, coached uh, high school girls basketball. So uh, the coaching passion was always there. Ended up playing uh, Division II college basketball at Shippensburg University um, under Coach Turn and um, kind of took it from there. You know, went, went and got a social studies teaching degree and uh, got my first job here locally um, and then decided to also coach. So I was the actually the head girls basketball coach here at Gettysburg High School for eight seasons. And then um, decided I just needed a little bit of a change. I needed to get out of the classroom a little bit and, and, and uh, jumped into uh, three years as an assistant at Gettysburg College uh, under coach Nate Davis. And um, the athletic director here at the time at Gettysburg High School, Michael Williams, um, kind of kept poking me about, you know, hey, you should, you should really look into athletic directors um, looking at doing that. And, and to be honest, I had zero desire to be an athletic director at the time. And so he, he just kept poking and prodding and, and, uh, getting me involved in things. Um, and, and the more I pursued it and the more I looked into it, the more I thought, Hey, you know, I could do that. And, and that's kind of what's led me here is, uh, he kind of guided me through the practice of, of, uh, getting involved in NI AAA and, and going through those courses and, and becoming a certified athletic administrator. Yeah, I always love to hear the stories, and it's odd how many of us, uh, I was certainly the same way, you know, didn't really have any uh, idea, desire, or plan to become an athletic director, and then all of a sudden it, it just kind of uh, sometimes falls <laughs> in your lap or uh, presents itself, and then uh, right. you get involved, you really love it. Um, Casey, you talked a little bit or you alluded a little bit to my next question. Uh, in our profession, we always talk so much about the importance of leadership, and particularly mentorship. So uh, you threw some names out there and I'm sure we're going to hear them again, but who were some of those mentors in your life that uh, helped get you where you're at today? Well, first, my parents, um, they were always, uh, you know, I don't think until I became a parent, I really understood how much um, involvement parents have. And, and, and my dad being a coach, like sports was always in our world. Um, he just, you know, kind of got me to the point where I, you know, I wanted to coach and be involved in athletics, one. Um, second would probably be, you know, my college coach, Coach Turn, Coach Christy Turn, um, just someone who um, got very good at taking me out of my comfort zone. Um, I think I grew a lot in college, as most people do, but it, it came from playing uh, collegiate sports and just constantly being outside of my comfort zone. I'm, I'm a natural introvert. Um, I don't, you know, I don't like putting myself out there. And, and she kind of... Um, say getting used to being out of your comfort zone is something that now I can do. Uh, and I don't think I could have done without her. Um, and then just the two athletic directors that were here at Gettysburg Area High School. One was uh, Mr. Carlos Wampler, who was, who hired me as a, a 25 year old head girls basketball coach and took a chance on me um, here at Gettysburg High School and kind of guided my, guided me through my first couple years coaching here. Um, and then Mr. Michael Williams, who was the AD before me, who, who really, um, kind of kept prodding me about becoming an athletic director and getting involved in NI AAA and, and, and having the path and, you know, just being there, you know, when I had questions, when I had issues, especially the first year of just, you know, here's um, 30 years experience of, of, you know, just input that, that I could rely on to um, make sure that, you know, you don't just jump to any type of conclusion. You have something that you can lean on a little bit. Yeah. No, again, I just love to hear those stories of the people that helped get us where we're at. And I'm glad you threw your parents out there. So important. For our listeners, we're visiting with Casey Thurston, Certified Athletic Administrator and the Director of Athletics at Gettysburg High School in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. We're going to be back for more, but right now, let's take a quick break and hear from our podcast sponsor, Violet Defense. Once again, we want to thank Violet Defense for sponsoring the Educational AD Podcast. Violet Defense is dedicated to protecting our world from germs by bringing the power of UV disinfection to everyday spaces. Their patented technology enables them to harness the power of the sun to incorporate ultraviolet light into products and environments like never before. If you're interested in implementing some of their existing products, or if you'd like to explore researching and developing a custom deployment of their technology for your school, Violet Defense has the solutions and the experience you need. Thanks again to Violet Defense for sponsoring the Educational AD Podcast. We're back with Casey Thurston, Athletic Director at Gettysburg High School, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. 
Casey, we get a lot of younger athletic directors that listen to the podcast, and I think it's important for them to hear about the journey that we all take. So share a little bit about how you got involved with your state association and then, you know, with the NIAAA and, and also talk a little bit about that path that uh, uh, allowed you to earn your CAA designation. So um, as far as the state association, uh, well, I'll just go back. The, the AD before me, Mr. Michael Williams, um, was a, a very big proponent of, of getting involved in NIAAA and making sure that you um, attend and, and go to state associations, uh, the conferences. And so um, I'll say not knowing any better at the time, I simply uh, started going with him in the year that I interned. And so it became something that, you know, when I got there, I was like, yeah, that you can actually learn a lot. And there's a lot of networking involved and, and um, just getting, you know, names to faces. So when you pick up the phone, you're like, oh, I know, I remember you, you know, I, I've met you before. So as far as the state association, um, not necessarily highly involved in any way, other than I, I do go to the Posada conference every year, um, have made it a point to just, just go. And even if you pick up one or two different items when you're there, um, that you can, you can um, take that back with you. Uh, this past year, um, I ended up teaching uh, LTC 799 at the Posada conference. Um, Mr. Williams uh, got me involved in, in uh, the NIAAA, basically national faculty, so that um, I'm on the NIAAA, uh, LTC 799 um, course revision currently. Um, that's how I got my certified athletic administrator, was kind of going through those courses. And like I said, I, I had no desire to be an athletic director. And, and when I started thinking about pursuing it, he said, you really need to take you know, 501 and 502 and 503. And I thought, eh, you know, I'm, I'm sure that you probably know most of it. Um, and then you get in the courses and you're like, wow, there's, there's, there's a lot of good stuff here. Um, and so I got so much out of those courses, you know, for four hours, they, it was just packed full of information and, and you meet different people. And, and I'll say that the course instructors of all of them share, I mean, they're just willing to share everything. They're, they're guys that have so many years experience uh, being an athletic director and just willing to help some of the young pre people out. I mean, that, that's how I felt like I could call them. I could email them and just say, Hey, I need help with this. Um, and so that, that's where my involvement started. I have one of the national conference, like I said, um, whether it's taking a, a course or two there, um, hitting some of the sessions. Um, and then this year I, I've gotten involved with, um, the 799 course to just, work on revisiting it um, with Scott Garvis and Michael Duffy. Um, they're the, the, the course chairs and, and just kind of working my way through that. That's been a new process for me. That's been something that that's, that's a little bit more out of my comfort zone to, to get involved with guys that are, you know, uh, have a lot of experience with NIAAA, but um, it's been good because I, I've learned a lot just from those guys and having conversations with them. I am a professional podcaster, so I took myself off mute. Um, those names you mentioned, Scott Garvis, uh, Mike Duffy, um, you know, I, I'm going to take that segment of our podcast. I'm going to send it to the NIAAA because it is a perfect uh, PSA announcement uh, for why you get involved with the program. You know, great, great stuff. And uh, Scott and I just had a, a chance to share uh, this weekend. For our listeners, we're recording this on September 14th. Uh, Scott and I were both at the State Coordinator Summit in Indianapolis, and uh, you know we both do a little bit of podcasting, so we had a good time uh, sharing. So uh, it's great to hear you're getting involved. Once again, for our listeners, we are visiting with Casey Thurston, Certified Athletic Administrator and the Director of Athletics at Gettysburg High School in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. We're going to take another quick break and hear from one of our podcast sponsors, Sideline Interactive. We also want to thank Sideline Interactive for their sponsorship. We actually have a Sideline Interactive video score table at our school, and it is fantastic. We use it all the time and uh, really encourage you to check them out. You know, it's becoming harder and harder to fund an athletic program these days, but Sideline Interactive's indoor scoring tables and video boards can generate $10,000 or more each year while also creating excitement in the gym and the ultimate game day experience for your student athletes. Go to sidelineinteractive.com or call 832-786-0302 to schedule a live web demo to see their tables and boards in action and see what these fantastic products can do for you. You can also email them at sales 
at sidelineinteractive.com. That's sales at sidelineinteractive.com. We're back with Casey Thurston from Gettysburg High School. Casey, one of the things we like to do with the podcast is this idea of sharing best practices. So I'm going to put you on the spot. Uh, what's something that y'all do at your school that when you step back and, and try to take a look at it, you know, you can say with equal parts pride and humility, boy, this is really good. Uh, do you have any best practices you can share with us? I'd say um, it's more of a school-wide best practice, and, and we've kind of um, engulfed it in the athletic department here. Um, our, our principals here at Gettysburg Area High School um, just decided uh, a few years ago that we really needed to make some connections with kids um, and relationships matter. And, and that's where we based a lot of our hiring practices, even, even coaches. I mean, that's, that's like the number one item that we're looking for. And so they kind of created a, almost a social media campaign. We hashtag it, hashtag warrior way. Um, and so the, the kids kind of understand what that means. It's been a couple of years, but you know, we put it on, we, we, we hashtag items, um, you know, it's, it's, it's be here, it's, it's be involved, be committed, and be kind. And that's, th those are our four items that we've really dealt with, with athletes that we bring up, we, we, we discuss, we talk about. Um, and so it's school-wide. So it's not only just in the athletic department, but just keeping those connections with kids um, that you're, I'll say you're living by the warrior way is basically what we're saying to our athletes and to our, our, uh, all of our high school students. But that's, um, when I look back, that's probably what um, I think we've turned a corner and that we, we have really great kids here and that we're just constantly reminding them it's, it's the same message they're getting across the board, no matter where they go in the district. I mean, what a, a great uh, example of building a culture uh, that truly is school wide. I mean, it, it's great when an athletic department has a, a culture that's working for them, but you know, when the entire school is following that warrior way, wow, you know, that's a, uh, I don't know if you thought about it, but that's a, a great CMAA project, uh, you know, right there in front of you. <laughs> and you've already done it. All you have to do is just tell your story. So we can talk about that later after yeah, the show. They, they do. Um the principals actually have like uh, spirit nights. So they, they come into one varsity event across the board. I mean, across country, girls, tennis, things that, you know, typically aren't widely um, say noticed necessarily. And they, and they come and they bring kids. I mean, Friday night was our football spirit night. Tonight's our, our high school girls volleyball spirit night. They bring in pizza for the kids to show up. So it's just kind of making that connection. Like these things matter. They do it for, 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 um, the music concerts and things like that. So it's not just athletics, but it's all of us working together to, to make the culture better here at Gettysburg high school. Right. It's the warrior way. Hey, right. We're going to do this at the end of the interview, but, um, be ready for your email to blow up. Uh, if one of our listeners <laughs> wants to get in touch with you and pick your brain about the warrior way or other things, how can they right. get in touch with you? They can send me an email. That's totally fine. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead and share that with them. Oh, my email is C Thurston. So C T H U R S T O N at G A S D for Gettysburg Area School District dash P A for Pennsylvania dot org. So okay. C Thurston at G A S D dash P A dot org. All right. And again, I'm telling you, you know, establishing culture, building culture, you know, that that's just a huge, huge, uh, um, you know, desirability uh, activity for ADs around the country. Great stuff. Right. Okay. Once again, we're visiting with Casey Thurston, certified athletic administrator from Gettysburg High School in Pennsylvania. We're going to take another break, but we'll be back for more on the Educational AD Podcast. We also want to say thank you to Wall of Fame by Vital Signs for being a sponsor. The FIAAA has a Wall of Fame uh, video display to recognize our state's Hall of Fame and all the great things that our state association does. So I really encourage you to get one of these. Wall of Fame by Vital Signs has a mission to bring your school's legacy to life. We provide a variety of interactive touch screen options and an extensive library of templates to make it easier than ever to recognize the athletic achievements of your students, both past and present. For ideas on how to showcase your school's diverse history and your proudest moments, visit 
www.vitalsignswalloffame.com or to learn more and actually get started with your own digital Wall of Fame tribute, call 614-981-3589 or you can email them at sales at vitalsignswalloffame.com. That's sales at vitalsignswalloffame.com. Welcome back. We're visiting with Casey Thurston, Certified Athletic Administrator. Casey, one question that I've been asking our athletic directors for the past 14 months um, revolves around this idea of, you know, uh, social, you know, justice, social awareness. So um, how can an athletic director, how can a coach do a better job of being, you know, socially aware uh, for their student athletes, for their community. Um, you have any advice for us? Uh, my advice and, and what I've tried to do in the last several years um, is just be present and, and start forming relationships with the kids. Um, I've tried to take five minutes of my day every day and just pick a kid that's currently playing sports and just talk because um, I don't want to call them into my office because they've done something wrong. Um, and then it's time to, it's time to punish them, but to just thought, Hey, how, how's freshman football going? How's, you know, JV field hockey going, whatever that might be. Um, and I think you'd be surprised what kids would tell you. Um, if you, if you get them one-on-one -on -one and, and have a little bit of a relationship with them, that's something that we've encouraged with our coaches is just talk to them. Like we're asking them to talk to you. So you need to talk and respond and be back. Um, a lot of them have, uh, especially in the last year or two, a lot to say about just the world around them. Um, and I think if you ask the right questions, you, you'll start getting answers that will open up a little bit. Um, uh, I'll say things that we may not be aware of day to day that is going on in their life, whether, um, you know, mental health issues, whatever it might be. Um, I know a few years ago, um, our athletic trainers uh, mentioned the book that, you know, hey, maybe we should uh, take a peek at. Uh, it's called What Made Maddie Run. Um, I read it and was just, um, as a former collegiate athlete, you know, you think, oh, you got to suck it up. You got to be tough. And and I, and I think that's the way that even as a coach, you just always thought that that's, that's how it has to be. And, and then you read a book like that and you're like, wow, um, maybe that's not how all of our athletes think. And, and maybe there's, there's more going on beneath the surface. And so, um, one of the things that we do here is we just try to talk to the kids. We just try to, to be present with them, to have a relationship with them. So I said, I've tried to just take a couple minutes each day, find a kid. If a name keeps coming up, I'm just going to track them down and, and grab them at the end of the day and just ask them how it's going, you know, and uh, that the door's open. You can come in and, and, and talk. Um, this isn't, you know, the office isn't a place that is uh, for discipline only, um, you know, whatever that might be. We usually keep snacks in the office. Uh, our, our athletic secretary has a, a snack bin and, you know, kids come in and grab a snack and we can just chit chat. And, and sometimes that's what a lot of them need. Um, and, and we've just asked our coaches to do the same, to just, just talk to them and listen, you know, um, what we, what we used to think of, uh, as an item that they need to just get over and get the practice may not be the case in today's society and with today's kids. Uh, I, I really appreciate you sharing that and, and great book resource too. And just another reminder, you know, that old cliche and it's a cliche because it's true. You know, they don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. So uh, right. great, great stuff. Uh, we're going to be back with our toolbox segment sponsored by Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. We're going to find out what uh, Casey Thurston is going to put in her toolbox. But uh, let's go ahead and take a moment and hear from uh, Athletic Surveys. We want to thank Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack for sponsoring the Athletic Director's Toolbox segment. Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack are a quick, easy way to collect comprehensive data that allows you to evaluate and improve your athletic program. Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack also gives the 95% of the players and parents who love your program voice and helps demonstrate the importance that a positive athletic experience has for them. Go to athleticsurveys.com and check out their testimonials and then call them at 1-800-738-6466. You can also email them at info at athleticsurveys.com to get started at your school. 
athletic surveys by Lifetrack. Let them help you take your athletic program from good to great. Well, Casey, this has been really cool to uh, get to know you a little bit and find out what's going on in Pennsylvania, but we're not done yet. Uh, we always like to wrap up with what we call the athletic director's toolbox. You know, you're certainly a, a veteran AD and uh, you've done some great things there at Gettysburg, <laughs> but right now I'm gonna challenge you to send out a brand new athletic director on their very first job. But I'm only gonna let you put three items in their toolbox. What three things are gonna go in Casey Thurston's Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack Athletic Director's Toolbox? Um, I would say number one is just the knowledge of why you're here and why you do the job. And, and that was something that I picked up uh, at one of the state conferences is just why do you do this job um, and, and understanding why it's important. So, you know, why am I here? Well, I, I love sports. Uh, I enjoy working with kids. Um, and, and I have a family at home. And so sometimes you, sometimes it's that work-life balance as well. So not only why you're here, but understand that there has to be a work-life balance. Um, I think as a, a brand new AD, I was um, really trying to, you know, be above and beyond. And sometimes that's not always what is needed. Um, and, I, and I think I learned that a little bit more during the, the whole COVID-19 year, um, that there has to be some sort of balance between the two. Um, and, the, and the last thing I would say to go in your toolbox, the work-life balance, uh, understanding what's important and why you're here is the last thing I would say is just be available um, and, and be present that you have a, um, it's a community organization, at least that's what we've tried to do here, that, that you are out and about people. Uh, I don't necessarily want them to know who I'm at, who I am, um, you know, like I said, as a natural introvert, but that, that you're available, uh, they can recognize you and that, you know, you can make connections with them. So you're, you're part of the community. Wow. Uh, I, I, I love the way that you, you know, worked in that work-life balance because it is, it, it's so important for, you know, a young AD, for an experienced one, or for uh, an old one like me. You know? <laughs> Once again, um, if one of our listeners wants to reach out and pick your brain a little bit, and I encourage you to do so, um, what's the best way they can get a hold of you? Uh, email works fine. Um, that's probably the best way uh, to contact me. So it's C Thurston, C T H U R S T O N, at G A S D, that's for Gettysburg Area School District, dash P A dot org. Okay. And I'm going to guess that information is also on the uh, NIAAA portal uh, as well. Okay. Yep. Casey Thurston, thanks so much for being on the podcast and all the best uh, for the rest of the year. Thank you. I appreciate you having me. Okay. For our listeners, remember the Zoom recordings of these interviews are also uploaded to the Educational AD Podcast YouTube channel. We appreciate you listening today. Come back again next time for another episode of the Educational AD Podcast.